So today, everybody, we had the return of the Vox Obscura as the exotic mission rotator over on the Legacy tab. Last week, we had the return of the Presage and the Dead Man's Tale, which you can craft. This week, we have Vox Obscura and the exotic Wayframe Grenade Launcher, the Dead Messenger, also now craftable. It also does have three new perks that you can craft on it as well, but the mission itself did not change. It's the same mission as beforehand. Pretty simple and straightforward, nothing too difficult, nothing too crazy. To get the base intrinsics, you do have to run it on normal mode three times, and then to get some of the actual new perks that you can craft on it, you have to complete it on Legend. I'll be real, me and my homies, we got lucky to where we got Demolitionist all on our first run on Legend, so that's, all, that's the only run on Legend we did. If you're wondering the three perks that you can choose on which you want to put on the new Dead Messenger, at least the craftable version, obviously it's not new. It's a slightly different version of the old one. You have the choice between Thresh, Unrelenting, and then what I feel like is going to be the most popular option, Demolitionist. And for a wave frame that shoots three waves at once, you can make some pretty good use out of Demolitionist. I will say there is one little opening part in the Vox Obscura, especially on Legend Mode, that can be a little hectic and might cause a little bit of troubles. That being the opening part right before you bust in into the actual base, and then maybe the boss room itself can be a little bit hectic. The Scorpius turrets, man. Those Scorpius turrets can melt you, my boy. Like, I'm not even trying to cap. Those guys hurt, even on Normal Mode and especially on Legend Mode. But I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going to be able to handle it and get your Dead Messenger pattern. Literally, the first time you complete it, the red border you get and extract that pattern, that one actually in itself is technically craftable, and you can just keep reshaping that one over and over again. That's what I did. You don't have to go out of your way to craft a brand new one. So let's talk a little bit about the Dead Messenger itself. How many exotic waveframes we got in the game? That's right, two! Although Forbearance is considered a legendary, but it's as good as exotic. Let's be real here. Although, yes, technically, we only have one, that being this one. When you think of this gun, think of it in threes, because it shoots any of the light elements that you want. That's part of its fundamentals perk. You hold your reload button to switch it between void, arc, and solar. At base, it's a void grenade launcher. However, it can work with some other type of builds. For example, for some of the background gameplay you might be seeing, I was using it on a solar infinite times two resto build on its solar variant and it was refreshing my resto timer as i was getting kills with it on its solar variant which is pretty cool because as we all know this game is a little bit made of some spaghetti code so something like that might not actually work so it's good to see that it actually does work has a little bit of some interactions a lot of people were definitely hoping that this gun would get something like chain reaction for one of its new perks because, dude, could you imagine an exotic waveframe that shoots three waves at once with chain reaction? Only at that point would Forbearance have some competition, because this gun's catalyst also gives it turnabout, which whenever you break the shield of a combatant or a guardian using their super, you will be granted an overshield, which can be pretty useful in keeping you alive in some tricky situations. Not as good as Soul Drinker, the origin trait, at least in my opinion, that Forbearance has, which makes it so dang good. But definitely, we have Soul Drinker at home with Turnabout. For a waveframe when crafting its minor perks, the stats that I would focus on, at least for me, would be Velocity or Blast Radius, and then, more importantly, probably Reload Speed. Just because GLs in general, they have one in the mag, so you're just naturally going to be reloading them more often than other weapons. So having a higher reload stat can be pretty nice. That's also what makes Forbearance really good because you can get that reload speed, I think, almost up to 100, if not max. And if you do want to craft this bad boy and put on Demolitionist, you do have to get it to level 8. But luckily this season, we also got the new weapon boosting feature which is honestly pretty cheap i believe it's something like 41 or 42 cores to get a weapon from level 1 to 17 which is the general level you need for just about any weapon to have its max perk pool fully enhanced so you have all the options of all the enhanced perks but you only need to level this bad boy up to level 8 to get demolitionist on it which is really nice really cheap it's a pretty fun weapon and it's definitely really good as it does shoot three waves at once which can be really good at clearing out some ads if you're in content where there's just a bunch of different types of shields, 
then this gun will definitely be very useful as it can alternate between all three elements to rip off any of those shields. And it does have a little bit of survivability with something like Turnabout, especially against Modern Day Hive where we just seem to have those dang moths be around them all the time. If they're not blowing you up, they're giving their allies an overshield, which is our enemies and can be kind of annoying. However, those moth overshields will proc turnabout, which is good for us. The only downfall for this gun still remains the same is the fact that it is in energy wave frame, so it's competing with forbearance, and it's an exotic, so it's also competing for your exotic slot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sit up here and say that, yo, it's definitely worth using over forbearance and your exotic slot, but you could definitely find some situations where this gun would be handy and very useful. I will say, since there is only one solar waveframe in the game, that being the explosive personality, if you want to use it on a solar build, on its solar variant, maybe change sometimes to resto, maybe use it for verity procs, although it doesn't have auto loading holster, so it probably isn't the best for that, you can definitely feel free to give it a try. And having demolitionist is pretty nice. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the now craftable dead messenger exotic waveframe. Thank you for watching the video. Consider subscribing. We do have a day one raid this weekend. Stay tuned for all the videos we'll be covering on that. You guys be safe, and we'll see you in the next one.